Diana Vondra, and I began the Bollard Buddies after my husband and I took a trip to, Paris, to France, and um, I discovered a street that was completely decorated in yarn. And I started by um, looking up yarn bombing and finding out what it was all about, and I decided it would be the perfect thing for Porter Ranzas. So I had my friend come down and measure the bollard. And at the time, I was we were living in Iowa, and I put this whole idea together that we could decorate the bollards, and they would um, brighten the January and February during the dreary time of the year down here. So it began, in the first year, we started with 82 bollards. And this year, we're well over 400. So other people have joined in. I have gotten a group together to help maintain them because they're, they have to be cleaned a little bit and um, mended at times. So we have a group of about 30 people who come down here a couple times a week and look all over them and make sure they're in good shape and um, do a good job cleaning them up and so they're all ready for visitors when they come to take their pictures and give them hugs and so forth. Um, everybody is welcome to make them. You can, um, the dimensions are 20 inches around and they can be between 12 inches and 20 inches tall and you can make whatever you want, bring it down, use your creativity and join the group and have fun with us. So you're all welcome to, to participate. And when you take them down, what do you do with them and where do they go next? <laughs> okay, the first thing you do is you have to knock as much sand off them as you possibly can. Then you have to run them through a dryer and get as much sand that's still left in them knocked out of them. Then you wash them and we usually try and air dry them because if people have used anything other than just an acrylic yarn, you have a tendency to have them shrink. And I don't want them to be ruined. So we try and take as good a care as we can and we'll air dry them outside. And um, then they are all looked over and if there's any, um, oh, things that need to be repaired, that gets done. And then they get folded up and put in tubs and they are stored at my house until the next season. And we bring them out again um, between Christmas and New Year's. We pick the prettiest day that we can find with no wind, no rain, and um, we install them and they all are stapled. Um, they get the, um, if they need a zip tie, they're zip tied, but every single one of them has a tag asking that they are not destroyed or removed because this is an art installation and it's for everybody. It's not for an individual. And of course, they can follow the buddies because they do all kinds of things. When they're not working here, they go around town and get into all kinds of trouble doing all kinds of fun things. They have formed a band. They have... <laughs> They have traveled the world. The website's fun.